Hey everyone, welcome to episode two of our new series, Townhouse Trio. Last episode, we made our three friends in cast. We made a photographer, a painter, and a sustainable sim. In this episode, we will be furnishing the photographer's townhouse. I'm so excited to furnish her apartment, so let's jump right in. Okay, so here we are at the townhouse trio. We have the three sims lined up down here, and I absolutely love that Joy here, our party animal slash painter sim, is actually dancing. And that was autonomous. So she is very much in character. So this is Joy Carter. She is our painter dancer. She lives in this townhouse here. And we're going to put like a cool rooftop bar terrace at the top. Here we have Layla. I absolutely love Layla's gorgeous long hair. Layla is the sustainable sim living in the middle. And we have a few eco lifestyle things at the top. We're gonna obviously fill that more. And we need to give her a garden. Somehow we're gonna need to find a garden for her. And then finally we have Marlene on the end here who goes by Mar for short. This is Mar. And she is our photographer sim. So we're working on Mar's townhouse first. This is what we're working with. We have two floors. I think I am gonna to go with a loft studio kind of like this and I'm undecided about where we'll actually put the photographer studio it's not a huge space but in fact none of them are really that big maybe Joy's is the biggest at the end but anyway we'll, we'll figure that out when we get to it so time for Mar okay so I've just placed this photo studio from get to work this is what Mar will use for her photography career and it's absolutely massive so actually I think it needs to be the entire upstairs is maybe the studio downstairs will need to be her living space which is actually fine we can be smart and like section it off and then we can do like the private bed area here I want it to be a studio so I want to avoid using walls and like blocking things off and she's an aspiring photographer so it's only early days in her career and obviously she's got a long way to go maybe a half wall I do want it to be tall so that sims can actually see yeah okay we're gonna do that so we need stairs and then I think the rest of the floor plan will come together the color palette of this loft is gonna be very black and white oh hang on for the stairs I'm gonna have to use this space so I want to do it like this oh that's cool yes and then we can use that as storage underneath okay so how does that work up here it doesn't <laughs> Oh no. Okay, one more option. What if we then turn this and then take this stairs and move it like this? <laughs> oh my goodness, that would give you a headache, wouldn't it? You would have no idea which way you're walking. Okay, I need a few minutes to figure this out. It feels like geometry, so I will be right back. Okay, so 45 minutes later, and this is what I've come up with. We have completely abandoned the stair idea that just was not working, and it was wasting too much space, which is definitely going to be an issue, I think. So we have put a ladder instead. We have actually sectioned it off and then used these columns to create an opening. I think this will be important because then we can kind of have like the client's area at the entrance here. Then obviously you go up the ladder to the studio and then through the arches, you have the private space. And this is obviously where Mar has her bedroom, her kitchen, dining room, all of that stuff and the bathroom in here. Good, okay, so that is the floor plan sorted. I think this is enough space for the studio up here. We'll just have like quiet area, a rail of clothes and some accessories, nothing crazy. But let's start, I think with downstairs and get the floor plan for her personal space. Remember, I want it to be quite dark and edgy and minimal. I want to be able to upload this to the gallery. So no custom content, Emma. We're just going to go with a bed like this. I'm actually super tempted as well to do a half wall here. Maybe we can do the bedroom. We'll do an office in here as well. Wardrobe. And then here we can do kitchen, diner, and a little bit of a lounge area. Or maybe we do the office there. You know what I'm also thinking? That we only make this access. And then this here is still for clients only. Bed is not for fully exposed. I'm gonna do it with black brick and I'm tempted to do this on top. Ooh, that could look kind of fun. Okay, good. Let's do the kitchen at the back here. I wanna do a really compact kitchen because I don't imagine that she's a particularly good cook. I'll do it like that if possible. That's asymmetrical. Nope, can't do that. Like this. And then we can do maybe the fridge actually on this corner. I'm gonna try to use as much black as possible. And then we'll do pops of green with lots of plants. Not too many plants actually. Oh, we need mother load. I am gonna give them unlimited money. We are not worrying about money. Then let's give a trash can before I forget. And actually I'm gonna take a shelf and move this shelf over. Actually, I don't want it to be too long. Perfect. And then we can do the tea rack. This is what I love to do next to the coffee machines. Just do it here. 
Cute, nice little coffee corner. I feel like that's quite important if she has a lot of clients come around. I'm actually thinking maybe this goes in this side. Now I'm not sure what this is for, so I'm gonna delete that. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the counter, but the smaller version. So it is this one right here. There you go. Okay, that's basically the essentials of the kitchen. And then we need to get a dining table here. So I'm thinking a small glass one could be nice. Oh no, this is good. Yeah, that one, I was actually thinking of this one, but that is custom content, so we we're gonna avoid it. I think that one is too square. This one is, oh, that could be cool. Industrial. Actually, I do kind of like that. No, I think I prefer the glass one. If I can get a slightly, yeah, perfect. I was going to say a darker color and we do. Oh, we also have this from City Living. Yeah, I prefer that one. Okay, we're going to go with this one here right in the middle. And then I have no idea where we can get chairs that would still make it playable. We'll use these ones. Either side. I don't know if I want four. Oh, we could. No, I mean, we could also do it here like this. I don't know then if your sim would be able to get around. Hmm, I don't know. Or maybe just this side. That is definitely playable. Should we just do it this side? Yeah. We're gonna do it this side. And then I am super tempted to push this up, but no, I think we'll keep it like this. Oh, we let's try to do three because there's three of them. There's three friends, I can't forget. Try to incorporate three where possible. I definitely don't think that's usable. I think the only way that might be usable is if I move this over and then, no, that still doesn't look very usable. <laughs> this might only be usable for one sim, but that does look super cute. Maybe we just do, okay, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna do this, which I don't know if, if it's playable, and then we'll move it if it's not. Okay, then let's do a little fruit bowl or something on the top or a basket, actually. If we have a little basket, I think that would be really cute. Oh, we have some good clutter here. Let me get some clutter. Definitely a bread bin. There you go. And some kitchen roll and that's it. No more clutter because I always do way too much and then we don't have any space for the sim to actually cook. Maybe the other side, cause you don't really see that. Ooh, yeah, I do want a fruit bowl. Let's do, let's size this fruit bowl down. I don't know why it's so huge and we'll place it in the middle. Cute, okay. Yeah, that's really sweet. I like that. So then let's get some lights. I want some dangly lights directly above the table like this one or that's slightly too long. It's gotta be these. Let's do them there. Or let's just do it in the entire kitchen. Yeah, let's do that. Otherwise it's way too bright and I have to delete this light. That's good. I'm not too sure I want a backsplash, but we do need a hood for the stove. Yeah, like this, that is a statement. Okay, so I'm just going through and adding a few more pieces of clutter to the kitchen. I've added these two shelves above the dining room. I think that's quite nice. And added a few laundry things either side of the door. So now we're gonna go and clutter up these shelves. I think I might need to move this, I do, just to be able to get stuff on top. I don't want this apartment to be over cluttered as you know, but maybe just some nice small little trinklets. Maybe some cooking jars on this side. That, let's do some books. And one more thing, should we do this little guy? Yeah, let's do this guy. This is from the Dream Home Decorator Pack. You know what's so weird? I actually have used this quite a lot in my builds for little things like this, just to fill random clutter, random shelves. It's good, it's good clutter just for, it's stylish clutter, that's what it is. It's good stylish clutter. All right, I've added one more light to prevent the shadow. And I think we are good to go in this kitchen. Oh, I added some decorations to this corner, a little carpet. But other than that, I think this does the job. So let's move on to the bedroom side. We need, so basically we're missing a wardrobe and maybe a chill out area. So maybe let's put the chill out area here. And if we can do the wardrobe in this corner here, I need a bathroom door. Okay, there you go, bathroom door. It looks a little barn housey. hang on. I don't really like many of the single doors. I always struggle to find simple doors that could be bathroom doors. Maybe dream home decorator does the job. Okay, so that is the bathroom. So hopefully we can still get a wardrobe underneath. Let me get some, let's do the lights first and then we'll do the bedside tables. Actually, I really love how industrial this light is from Eco Living. So we're gonna put that in this corner or maybe in this corner actually. Yeah, let's do that like that. I'll fix it when I come back to it. And then either side of the bedside table, I think I want wall mounted lights, but these 
these some of these are really weird like this could be cool but it's i'm just not too sure it looks quite dramatic maybe if i size it down no it's too much oh my goodness look how cool that is okay we're gonna go with these we're gonna go with these either side like that and then i'm actually gonna centralize the bed in between them there you go either side we're gonna use these bedside table lights i'm just going to raise everything okay so i've gone ahead and done some clutter and a few smaller bits of decorations in the bedroom area so we have a small wardrobe that i've squeezed from a tiny living next to the bedside table i've obviously cluttered up all the surfaces we have the full-length mirror next to it a shelving um storage just above it and then on this side i love the color palette of this apartment like neutrals blacks brick and then pops of orange favorite color palette um i think we'll try to find maybe another chair because I don't love the light wood tone but yeah a bright orange chair and then more wardrobe storage next to it so maybe we'll start with that let's go and filter armchairs by orange and let's see what we've got so obviously something like this is fun but maybe slightly too bright as an orange I do like it that's that is an option um these are cool there's dark brown wood it's not as like contemporary as I want Ooh, the orange Orange is super bright. No, I think the orange is too bright. It's too modern. I kind of want it a little bit more eclectic in here. What else? Nothing else. We're already at the end. That's so surprising. I thought we had loads of orange armchairs. Okay, never mind. All good. I am I am happy with this. Maybe we'll find other ways to incorporate light wood tones. Maybe in the plant. Oh, blue. Is that what we had before? Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, let's let's hang on. Let me compare. No, I prefer the dark. Never mind. I prefer the dark. I can deal with it. Um, um, okay, good. So that is, oh wait. Did I mention the headboard? I don't know if I filmed that. I did a I did a headboard here above the bed just to create some drama on this side of the room. Um, I think it's necessary. That wall was quite plain and I didn't want to add any more mirrors or artwork. I think I want to do artwork here. So we don't have a lot of space for the sim to get through. So I actually want to leave the floor clean, but let's try the prints from Moschino. I think that would look really good here. And maybe somebody knows the answer to this, but if I do some gameplay, Am I able to fill the artwork with anything that I've taken? Yes, that fits perfectly. Cool. That's exactly what we need here. Yay! I think we maybe need a carpet and then I think we're good to go to move on to the next thing. Could do a black carpet. That doesn't really, that only really adds texture. I think we need a black one. So maybe let's filter by color. Black. Um, I can't use custom content as much as I want to. I'm just gonna scroll right past. Ooh, what about like some funky ones? Like these. <gasps> That's kind of fun. What about in white, actually? Let's see how white looks. No, it's, I do want this place to be quite dark. Remember how we styled her in Cass? Oh, this is perfect. Amazing. Done, this is what we needed. This is from Dream Home Decorator. Just a little bit of print and black with a bit of gray. Yay, I think that these two rooms are done. Oh, I love them. Let's move on to, oh, I briefly started this entranceway here. I think this tray might be floating. It is, that tray is definitely floating. Let's bring you down. While I fix this here, I'm gonna tell you what I plan to do in this section. We are gonna do the desk up in that corner there. And then we obviously have here a like waiting area for the clients and then upstairs I want to do more of a vanity area that and you know what I think we do need to do above here I think we need more of these framed art sets and I really really hope that we can change the artwork that's in them maybe we'll do the fuller size I really hope we can change the artwork that's in them I think it would be so fun I know I can change the swatch now no I want to keep it like in black I think that's much better for the space I think that fits her style I think that fits her style of photography way better I want to do black and white clean type of artwork okay then here we're gonna do the office space so it's gonna be i would love to do two screens i can do two screens i think that would be so fun okay we're just gonna do a plain black desk like this and then can i do two screens i can definitely do maybe i do a tv behind yes that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a mini TV behind it. Like this. Oh my goodness, we can even do three. Okay, we'll do some artwork above it again. Maybe, yes, just like that. 
right in the middle. Ooh, hang on. Or we do the Marilyn Monroe one, which came with Get Famous, I believe. Show all. I swear we had one with Marilyn. Why does it feel like I can never find this? I'm confused. If it's not, oh, it's not Get Famous. It is Vintage Glamour or the other one. I always get those two confused. Let's see Vintage Glamour. Yes, it is Vintage Glamour. Ignore me. That must be like the fifth time I've done that. Okay, so we're gonna do that above there. Um, vanity, this is what I wanna do up here. So we're gonna do that there, I believe, with maybe a little seat in this corner, something maybe we can do better than this, but let's do it for now. Something like that, just like where they're, while they're waiting. Um, and then we'll do some tech equipment on the other side. Can we do this? Yeah, perfect. Okay, back downstairs. We obviously need an office chair. Oh, that's a cute light. No, it's a bit too dramatic. All right, I think that's good. And then on this side, I don't know what I wanna do. Maybe a counter or something like this maybe with some plants either side, some artwork, where the clients hang out, you know? This is where, this is the client space. Okay, I've got an office chair, that's good. And then I want to try that black round carpet that we had. That was Get Famous. Pretty sure that was Get Famous, I just saw it. There you go. No, it's not, it's Vintage Glamour. Oh my goodness, my memory is awful. Yes, that's perfect there. I just wanna throw something round underneath them. We'll do maybe clothing rack or something in this corner and some plants and a mirror. We need a big, beautiful mirror above here. That's what we need. Not the best one. I would have liked to have done more angular ones like this, but that's custom content. That one is too small. We could do the long one. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, let's do the long one. I like the long one better. And then we can do tall plants either side, maybe even this one from the new pack. Let's do that one here. And a plant of some sort on the other side. Mmm, all the good plants are custom content. Oh, we have the one from Dine Out. That has a black base, yeah. I need to decide if I want this one or the other one. And then in this corner we'll do, maybe the green is too bright. And then in the other side, we'll do the clothing rack. Yeah, I do like that. It blocks it off a bit. Or the other side, like here. Can your Sims still get through there? I've got no idea if my builds are even playable. Honestly, I hope you don't download all my builds from the gallery to find that they're not even playable. That would be really, really bad of me. Okay, what do we want on there? Obviously another, oh, magazines. No, 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 no. What am I doing? That goes up here. And then we'll do magazines on the tiny table. I want to do a few shoes just here, a little bit thrown together. Is the clothing rack in this section? I That's also the other item I can never find. Perfect. And then magazines down here. I love it. I love this space. Oh, it's so cool. This is so trendy and it's exactly the type of style that I had in mind for Mars. So I'm very, very happy. And it's quite cozy. I'm tempted to put the same black carpet actually on this side. Side. Or no, let's maybe use the other black one. Hang on, this one. Size it down, turn it an angle, perfect. The bathroom I've actually already done super quickly. I basically just did a wet room. So the shower is here. We have the toilet, sink, mirror, obviously, and a few supplies with orange as the pop of color. So let's move up to our last room and it is the studio space. So we definitely can do a better chair than that, I think. We will do some supplies here from Get Famous. And I think that's pretty much it. It needs to be left fairly empty because sometimes we'll be shooting a lot of Sims. So we need a lot of space. Let me go find a chair for this corner and then I'll go and grab some supplies from Get Famous. Okay, and there we have it. This is our photo studio for Mar. So we've done another chill out area here for the clients. I've taken the chair from Dream Home Decorator and then I've used pillows or actually armchairs as pillows. Um, then we have the vanity area here and then we have a few pieces of tech here for the photographer. Duplicate these lights here dangling above the chair and there we go there is the finished photographer studio and that completes the build we are now finished so this is mars home i just realized we have a bit of empty space here so we can actually do something with this put more surfaces that's an option seeing if we have anything that's not too huge that could work. What would we put on it though? We kind of don't really need anything else. No, I am gonna put stuff on it. I think it would be silly not to make the most of every bit of space that we have in this apartment. 
So we're gonna do more magazines and I do kind of want some music actually. There you go. We're gonna do some speakers in the corner like this. Oh my goodness, and the essentials. We need camera supplies, things like that. There you go, different types of magazines. So many options. Okay, we can do another one. Let's do another camera there. And, oh, that's a big one. And we'll do with this one. Three different options for cameras. Let me rearrange these actually. Magazines. The speakers are huge, so we're gonna have to downsize them. There you go, much better use of the space. That would have been a shame if we'd wasted that. I'm also thinking of doing the thing from Parenthood, if I can find it, and putting it underneath. Yeah, let's size that down and let's stick this underneath. Cute, perfect, just more storage. Okay, now we're done. So this is the final photographer's studio of Marlene. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed doing the photographer's studio and I cannot wait to do the painter's rooftop. That's what I'm most excited about, I think. We will have a few episodes of Palm Sims coming soon and I will see you all in my next video.